Welcome to 10 Minutes With. It's a podcast for people who want to listen to podcasts, but don't have all day. I'm Therese Main, and I'm a notorious fast talker. So get ready for a quick chat with someone you might be interested in learning more about in 10 minutes or maybe even less. And today we've got Chad Butler by phone. He's the drummer for Switchfoot. Now, Chad has been with the band for as long as they've been around. In fact, he started it with John and Tim Foreman back in 1996, which is, well, a while ago. You've probably heard they're from California and they really dig surfing. Did you know that the band's name comes from a surfing term for when you change your stance to face the other direction? They say it represents their take on life and music, kind of looking at things differently. It reminds me of the change we have to make when we turn from our ways and decide to follow Jesus. And maybe you hear a little bit of that in Switchfoot's music, too. They're going to be in concert at Roberts Wesleyan College on Friday, October 18th. Tickets are available at KingdomBound.org. So what do you say we get started? Hey, Chad. Yeah, hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, For someone who's never seen Switchfoot, which I'm not exactly sure who that person would even be Uh, but what are three words that you would describe the band with (laughs) wow that's a good question um i'd say it's honest rock and roll you know we've been traveling uh on this tour and and realizing this is very different than most tours that we've done in the past this is not your typical uh you know rock concert it's a very different experience yeah, because you guys are doing like two sets. The first one's kind of acoustic and a lot of storytelling mm-hmm. and maybe some yeah. songs that people haven't heard on the radio or normally at a show. And then you take a break and then you just come out and do like a straight out Switchfoot show. Yeah, yeah. Sim- similar to that. And and also I just realized there's so much uh, kind of uh, the theatrics and, and the conversations that happen in between that it's, it's just a, a wild night for us. It, we're having a blast. It's very different than anything we've done before. So some of the conversation, I would guess, uh, just because you've got this group of people who've been together for a while, like things come out that you might not expect and and that's not predictable from night to night. Yeah, we're taking requests from the audience. We're dialoguing with people in the, in the crowd and it's just been hilarious. Has there been like a surprising request? Like are people asking for like Baby Shark or anything? <laughs> <laughs> there, There's a lot. There's a lot of wild, funny moments, but... Um, you know, mostly I think we're there to dig into the, the last 11 albums. You know, for, for a band to be together after 11 records is, is rare these days. And, you know, we, we don't take it for granted. We're really thankful for this uh, journey our band's been on and, and all the songs that, that we're looking back at in this concert, in this, in this tour. And you have been there the whole time, of course, drumming. Can you tell me something that people assume about drummers that isn't true? (laughs) Okay. Uh, Wow. You know, um, I always think of uh, Animal on the Muppets, (laughs) you know, the the character. Right. And, uh, you know, I I don't know if that's that's, uh, exactly a a perfect character of drummers, but it is pretty close, (laughs) I think. Uh, you know, there's something to be said for, um, you know, getting to hit things every night for a living. And and I, I just laugh that this is my career, that this is what I get to do every day. I guess I have a lot of nervous energy and uh, drumming keeps me sane. <laughs> Now, you're originally from the Netherlands. Is there something from there that you wish was easier to find in the U.S.? And I know it's probably not as hard as it was, like, before Amazon. But, I mean, is there something that you're like, oh, man, I wish we had this? Oh, that's a good question. Um, Well, it used to be things like, you know, those little baby bell cheeses and the red foil wrapper. But now I think you can get them at Costco. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. You can get, like, 50 of them for $8. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I, I was born over there, and we just actually got back. Um, we were touring in Europe this summer uh, with Bon Jovi, and get, did get a chance to visit my homeland, and we played in Amsterdam again. It was wonderful. That's cool. What was uh, what was something that you were kind of like, okay, guys, you got to see this? Oh, I, I just always uh, rent a, a bicycle and go up and down the canals. It's, it's uh, one of the best cities in the world. Amsterdam is an incredible place, and I was born actually on the water there in a boat, so... Maybe it's in my blood, just uh, being near the water. That's actually 
what I'm doing right now, riding my bike along a canal here in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> so literally while we're talking, you're riding a bike. I would be dying. This would be, yep. it would be me like feeling like, okay, oh, Chad, so tell me some more about the show. I mean, <laughs> when you get to a new city, is it like one of your big goals to figure out like, how can I get in a, a bike ride, a workout? How do you, you know, stay on track with your life? Yeah, well, I, I would say every morning I open up the map on my phone and look for water. And I've got a bike on tour and just go wherever the closest lake, river, if we're near the ocean, that's the best. But, you know, we're from San Diego. So, you know, the band grew up surfing together and, and you know, being near the ocean. And I, I guess for me, it kind of or just reminds me of home to see water. So do you guys travel now flying or are you on a tour bus? How are you getting around for the fantastic traveling music show? Um, actually, it's a hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> And that, that's, a, wow. that's a, no joke. We do have one on stage. So. But you're not uh, actually we, we getting are, places on the hot air balloon. <laughs> well, you know, night to night, uh, we, we're actually on a tour bus. Yeah, but the, the stage uh, for this tour is so wild. We've got a, a, a ship on stage, a giant boat, and, and a hot air balloon. And it's, it, I mean, it's over the top. But as you go from place to place on a tour bus, what's the weirdest thing that's happened? I mean, in 11 years, there's got to be some crazy stories of what's happened to Switchfoot. Oh, sure. I mean, you know, these things that we rely on to get around, they break down. And, you know, multiple times we've had tour buses, uh, you know, have engine problems and we're stuck on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. You know, we've had a bus catch on fire before. You know, these things that you look at and you go, well, okay, well, those things are unpredictable and we can all relate. We've all had car trouble or, you know, missed the bus or the plane or whatever. And that's... uh, where the adventure starts, you know, uh, it's when, when things go wrong. And I think, I think maybe that's what's bonded us together as, as a brotherhood. It's just all these, uh, situations that you have to kind of rise above it and respond to the, the shipwreck. <laughs> Can you tell me a moment where you have just undeniably gone, okay, God put that together. There's no other explanation. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's been so many, uh, miraculous moments when I thought, wow, we're, we're not going to make it to the show. We're not going to make it to the next city and, and things come together. Um, you know, I, I, I usually look at the people who, who help us along the way as, man, that's, that's a gift. Um, you know, whether it's a, a, a guy on the side of the road that pulls over to help fix our bus or a flight attendant that uh, holds the door open so we can make it on the next flight and, you know, th- those are the people that you go, wow, that's that's a total godsend. That's an amazing miracle right there. So you have three kids at home now, right? Two boys and then a girl? I do. What's it like for your daughter having two big brothers? Is it like her own security entourage? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, having two big brothers, she's uh, she's got, uh, you know, yeah, a, a SWAT team around her. <laughs> they're, they're definitely protective. If you had... 400 pounds of tomatoes. What is the most interesting thing you could think of to do with them? Uh, wow, I just think about how many bottles of ketchup that would be. You've got to squash them first, but yeah, I like French fries. So it would be just French fries? That's all you would put ketchup on? No, oh, ketchup's good on everything. Are you a ketchup on eggs kind of person? Sometimes. I'm more of a hot sauce guy. Salsa. Right. Spicy. There's tomatoes and salsa. I'd made my own salsa, too, at home. You know, well, throw, salsa, throw, yeah, uh, has tomatoes, but did, does sriracha, though? Now I have to wonder. Now I'm dying to know if it's just peppers and vinegar. Oh, if there's if there's tomatoes and sriracha, I, I guess it's red. It's probably mostly peppers. I feel like your ketchup plan is a solid one for those 400 pounds of tomatoes. Uh, I know people are gonna, are going to have a blast with you, whether they come by bike or submarine <laughs> or ship or hot air balloon. Uh, Friday, October 18th, <laughs> your show is happening at the Athletic Center at Roberts Wesleyan College. Two sets. The first one's kind of acoustic, a lot of storytelling uh, and some deeper cuts. And then the second act is more of the classic Switchfoot show. Tickets go from $22 to $52 for $52, you actually get to share a bottle of ketchup with Chad. Probably not. Uh, That's right. <laughs> but you do get an awesome experience for that kind of money. And uh, you can get out all the ticket details and information at kingdomound.org. Chad, thanks so much for taking us on your bike ride today. Oh, you bet. Thanks, Teresa. Have a great day.